Hello. My book's been sitting around for about nine months since it's been lights cranked. And so uh, crappy or speckle perch, whatever you want to call them, season is coming in. They're really biting strong right now. So I thought I might like to go a time or two. I got ready to fix my boat. And lo and behold, the water won't come out. The water pump's not working for some reason or another. So I went up to Noble the Marine. I got this uh, impeller kit here. I, I'm hooked. I think that's all I'm going to need at the most. I don't even think I'm going to need that, but I think I might need that. But then to be on the safe side, I just went ahead and picked up these other two gaskets here, you know. So if they look the least bit like they need to be exchanged, I'll, I'll go ahead and change them out. Now, to get this thing off, <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is raise the motor up. Now, that looks pretty good. I ought to be able to work on it there without breaking your back. Now, to start with, these bolts right here have to come out. And you got two of them on this side, two of them on the other side. It's there somewhere. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, two of them on this side. And you've got one that's hid up under here. And if you don't get that one out, you can't do anything. So the first thing you want to do is start marking all this stuff. Well, I had these wrenches in my hand for a purpose. <laughs> I was going to tell you that these bolts here on this particular motor takes that 5 8 wrench right there. And then I'll show you something else that's going to be coming off in a minute. And these two little things has got to come off. Or don't, no, they don't. Take that back. They don't come off. You just loosen this one up here and then back this one off to look. Let me see. Yeah. Take this bottom one off. I mean, not off, but loosen it. And then you start loosening on this top one here until it comes just, until the shaft here disconnects. That's what holds the shaft together to change the gears. And they have to come apart before you can. Uh, get the bottom off so now oh and by the way that takes I'm doing a lot of by the ways <laughs> it takes a uh, number 10 wrench I know you can't see that because I can't even tell what it is but anyway it takes number 10 wrench and you have to have two of them one to hold it with and one to turn it with so now would be a good time to go over to your buddy's house and say hey let me borrow a number 10 wrench Now this little tab here has to come off too because you got to take this tab off to get to that other bolt up and underneath here. So you want it to go back on exactly the way it is now. So the best way to do that is take your little marking pencil right here and go right there and mark it right down beside that. And go on the other side and do the same thing. Because it is adjustable. And if you don't get it on there just right, it might not act just right when you're going down the river or something. And by the way, this takes a 13 millimeter right there on that for that. So now let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to take this 5 8 wrench here and break these bolts off of here. Go on the other side and do the same thing. Now we'll try to disconnect this shaft here. And you take one of your number 10 wrenches and hold it there and take the other one and put it here. And well I'm tightening it. I don't need to tighten it, I need to take it loose. So now there you goes. As soon as you break it like that, I said, <laughs> you yeah, see the, the big one here I've moved 
independently or easy when you get that one first one broke. And then after a turn or two, you can just take your finger up there and disconnect. Just like that. Now those are loose, see. Now for my next trick. Now you take your number 13 socket here, move the prop just a little bit, put it on that, and break it loose. Now if you noticed, these things are not, none of these things so far have been tight enough to use a pull bar on. <laughs> so when, when you get ready to start cranking it back down, make sure you don't over tighten anything. Make sure it's good and dug and tight, but don't tighten it enough to hurt anything. Eventually, it ain't so long. <laughs> there it comes. Now, I just wanted to show y'all these ridges here. I don't know if you can see those little ridges right there. That's how you adjust it up here. And that's why you want to put it back just like you took it off. Because if it was doing fine before you took it off, that's where you want it. Now this is very important. See, I dropped that when the when that come off. I dropped that on the ground. Make sure you keep that because that's got to go back in there, like just like that. Now, to tell you the truth, I'm hoping some little critters got in here and uh, and uh, is keeping this water pump from working because I just can't imagine it being so tight that it won't do anything. Now we got to get this filth bolt out up here. Uh, I forget what size that is and we'll have to look. Okay now this nut up in this hole here is a 5 8 and if you've got if your extension is too long it's going to hit out here you can't get up to it so I don't have a real short extension right now so all I got this swivel that'll work. So you put it up in there. I said it will work as soon as I get on it again. Now I finally found a slot. Now, nothing is bad if you got the right tools to do it with. <laughs> And after a few turns, you can take your ratchet off of it and just turn it with your fingers like this until it comes out or off. Yep, it's laying right there in my socket. That's all there is to that one. Okay, now this is the last one of these. And this will make all five. Now try to lay this stuff in the order where it come out. Let me show you. Just for example, these two bolts here, I laid them out just the way they come out of this foot. And that way I'll know where they go back. Because I always like to put them back in the exact same spot. Now all you pros, I know, just want to throw everything in the bucket. And that's fine if you like to do that. But me just being the backyard guy, that's what I'm going to do mine. I'm going to shake this thing a little bit, see if it'll come off of there without too much trouble. Whoa, yep, it surely did. Uh, 
Now, I know you can't tell probably from this, but that's all sparkly clean right there from where I did this one time before. So I just can't believe it's the water pump. I think something's gotten here and stopped me up somewhere. So that's going to be a problem all in itself probably to find out where it's at. So. Okay, now this has got four bolts in it here. <clears throat> and number 10s. So. Going to undo them. I love the way Mercury mixes up the SEA and the metric bolts and screws on these things. Make sure you have plenty of tools that way, see? You buy a new one every time you do something. <laughs> okay, here's the last one of these to come out. I want to see what it looks like in there in just a second. said in just a second. <laughs> there it comes. Right now Slide that all the way off. And now, I don't see anything wrong with that really. That's what I was worried about. I don't think anything was wrong with the impeller itself. So now I've got to find out where it stopped up at, why well, I can't get any water through it. Okay, now then we'll have to take this next plate off, and it's got this little keeper right here. You make sure you do not lose that little keeper, because that's what makes the whole thing go round. Come to think of it, yeah, my keyway is good in this thing. So it shouldn't have been slipping on that. No, that's just as tight as it could be. So like I said, don't lose that, whatever you do. Okay, now I'm going to take this plate off just so I can inspect it down there. Very gently pry on this thing. You don't want to, you don't want to bend or warp that metal plate right there. See if I can inspect that, see if there's anything clogging it up. Okay, now I'm just going to try to stand it up like this. I've got some water here in this dish. And then we'll pour it in there. And that ain't good. Well, look, I say that ain't good. It is good. It comes flowing right on out. So. That means there's no stoppage between there and here. So now. Okay, here's the new impeller I got. Got that from, uh, from uh, Noble Marine. We'll, we'll go ahead and put it on here just to see what the difference is. Okay, now when you get ready to replace this impeller, you make sure you put yours in there and have the legs going the same way this one is going. Well, if you don't, you're going to run it. So pull it right straight out. Leave that little seal in there if you can. And just twist it like that until it goes down in there. Easy to say. 
But this is very important. If you put it in the wrong way, you just go ruin it when you crank it up. Now you see how this one stayed like that? Now that's a good indication. This very well could have been bad. You see how it's staying over like this, where it should have been, it should have sprung right back up like that. That means it wasn't putting any pressure. When the water was hitting it, it was just slipping over top of it instead of this pulling it on up. And that's what it is. So I feel a little better now. I don't think I'll stop it. I think it was just this water pump actually could be just wore out. I think I only replaced it seven or eight years ago, so I think it should be fine, don't you? <laughs> okay, now like I said, this is very important. Make sure you put it right back in the slot like this. Make sure it's on there just right. Then try to line up, try to line your key up on your new impeller to fit to match that so when you slide it on here you won't have such trouble getting it down on there. And I think it's going to be, that's going to be like that. I need to have it right on top right there. So. I think that's pretty close right there. So now, try to get, yeah, see now that little, that's coming out. Now when you're putting this back together, take just ever so light, slight amount of grease and put it right here. And I ain't talking about taking the grease gun and turn it loose on it. I'm just talk, talking about just going around it real easy. Some marine grease like that, and that'll work. Now, next thing we're going to do is slide this back up on the shaft, and now you start putting these little bolts back in it. Stuff sounds so easy to do, and then you get ready to do it. That's because I'm putting it in the wrong side. <laughs> there. Now, I know you're going to say it don't make no difference which side you put it in. I know that. But the way I had it laid out, this one goes here. And this one goes here. And the other two go on the other side. A little hint when you're putting this back on, tighten it up. Try to center this plate here so it's not act actually resting on the shaft. And it uh, won't be resting on the shaft and it won't wear. <laughs> so just a, just a little hint there, try to center it up a little bit. And of course, crisscross you tightening, or I always do. The pros probably say that don't make any difference either, but I've always done them like that, one on one side and one on the other, and then back and forth till you get it done. So, finish that. And when I got everything tightened back up, I put just a little bit of marine grease right here. Not a lot, but just, you know, metal on metal. It doesn't have to hurt to have a little bit of grease on it. Now, let's see if that thing will go back in there. Now, one thing, I'm getting tired of carrying it around. Ah, so here we go. Okay, now if you wiggle it around back up in there, 
Try to get at least one bolt in it, finger tight, before you turn it loose. I just hate for it to come falling out on the ground and bending the shaft or something. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, that's on there, now I'm going to go ahead and finger tighten the rest of these. Well, this one here in the middle, I just laid that nut on top of this socket here with a swivel on it. Put it in there and I'm going to get that put finger tight. Because you cannot go be able to put it up there just taking your fingers putting it up there. Something's got to hold, hold it first. Then you take your 5 8 wrench and start tightening these up. Snug it up like that, and then we'll go, go to the other side. Now, if you do that, go around again and just make sure they're all getting tight. You don't want to, you don't want to try to bust that metal, but you want to make sure they're in there tight. Now, last one, favorite one of course, is that little one in the middle up here. <laughs> right up there. Now don't forget to put your little trim tab back on. Remember this little plastic piece goes in here somewhere. <laughs> goes in there just like that. And then you take this and put it on just like this. Slide it up there so it can hold that trim tab. Now you got to remember your little marks down here, see? There. Got exactly back where it was at. And then you start tightening it up. Get this finger tight. Making sure your mark stays in place. So now I'll take the ratchet and finish it up. Now look around your boat and make sure you don't have any parts left over. I'm not serious about that because if you got parts left over you're doing something wrong. And you need to go back and do it again. Now comes the comes the proof of where it was at the water pump or not. Okay, as you can see I've got the water running to the motor and right up here This is the place you have to look for. If water's coming out there, we'll just go when I crank the motor. If it's not, well, back to the drawing board.
Okay, as you can see, there wasn't a drop of water coming out that hole up there. Now I don't know where to start. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, now what I did was I kept on cranking it and turning it off, cranking it and turning it off, and finally I took the, uh, the shop back I got sitting up here, took the hose and pressed it against this little hole right here and turned it on and cranked up the motor. That ain't easy to do, but hey, it worked. <laughs> So, I don't know if the water pump is bad or it's just all clogged up, but anyway, whatever it was, it's working great now. And I showed you how to put a water pump in. Can't never put too many water pumps in, I don't guess. So, so anyway, that's my little thing for today. If you can, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. And come back and see me real soon. I hope to have another video for you real soon. Now, in the meantime, this boat's been sitting here for nine months. And I gotta get it all cleaned up. And so I'd like to get that done by in the next week sometime because I've got a lot of work to do on this boat to get it all cleaned up. Because it's got mold and mildew on it and all that stuff. Got to put new lines on the rods and reels. And by the time I do that, the fish is gonna be good done by. It. So <laughs> ain't that the way it always is? So until next time, y'all have a real good day now. Goodbye.